We go now to our reporter Laura Windsor for a report on children's digestive problems. While many digestive problems are more common as people get older, they can occur at any age, even in children. We asked Dr. Mitchell Katz of Children's Hospital of Orange County about gastrointestinal problems in children. GI complaints are, are very common and uh, as far as what types, it depends on the age. In, in the young babies, it's irritability, it's feeding problems, it's vomiting or what's acid reflux. Um, that horrible uh, set of letters called colic. Uh, and then stooling issues can also get in the way. As children get older, common is the ever-present abdominal pain. And you know, when is it real? When is it organic? When is it what's called functional? When is it a child just doesn't want to go to school? Or when is it a child's got an ulcer or uh, more significant and substantial bowel problems. Stooling problems are a common issue. Acid reflux is also much more commonly appreciated now than in the past. We asked Dr. Katz, what are the symptoms? We look at the, the common complaints of heartburn or, or regurgitation, bad uh, taste in the mouth. That's not as common as some of the more subtle signs of acid reflux recurrent sinus problems, recurrent uh, wheezing, respiratory symptoms, uh, upper uh, airway abnormalities, something called recurrent croup, uh, recurrent ear infections sometimes can be due to uh, acid reflux disease. Just simple failure to eat. Uh, complicating matters is a whole new uh, condition that is confusing matters and that's called eosinophilic esophagitis. And it mimics reflux, has the same symptoms of reflux, but doesn't respond as reflux. It's more allergy-based. We try to define what the child is allergic to uh, in foods. And in allergy testing is fraught with challenges. Um, but we try different ways of determining allergies and then putting them on a restricted diet and seeing if it makes a difference. Uh, if it does, um, then we try to hone in on what the particular food is uh, that is causing or group of foods. When should a parent seek medical help? When you take a history of abdominal pain, you look for certain red flags. For instance, a child under four who's complaining of tummy aches, they don't have the words and, if, and they, can't, they don't know enough to pull your chain. They don't have a, they're not having a, a relationship problem. They're not having a school problem. If a kid under the age of four who's complaining of tummy aches, you've got to raise an eyebrow to that. A child wakes up in the middle of the night with pain. That's a little bit more significant than a child who just all day long they have a pain. The location where the child is complaining of pain. The further away from the belly button the, source, the location of pain is, the more likely it is to be organic. Associated other symptoms, vomiting, diarrhea, blood anywhere, you know, blood in the poop, blood in the vomit, that's not something you want to play around with. Other associated symptoms like weight loss, rashes, fevers, that kind of thing. Because th that tends to give you more of a hint that it's organicity. And sometimes, and most often, it's just taking a good history and, and listening to the parent, and you'll know the provider will know. Over 95 million Americans experience some kind of digestive problem. Children, unfortunately, are among them. And as a parent, it's important to know the symptoms of gastrointestinal problems. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.